Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to enter and graph a pain disability index or frailty score on a patient. Now this video presupposes that you've already done the setup for this, which is shown in a different video. So if you need to, please go back and do the steps in that video before coming to this one. But suppose we have a patient coming in, we've got Mrs. Test coming, and either before the visit or during the visit, we're going to do a couple of scores on her, namely the pain disability index and a frailty score. So how do we do this? Well, basically we go and we go into the right click menu. So the setup that we did essentially set these up as lab results. And so we're gonna enter them as manual lab results. Now, depending on how Wolf is configured, enter new manual result may or may not show in your list right away. For me, it does not. So I left click on show all menu items. And then you can see that new manual result comes up and I left click on that. So in the last video, we set it up under scores and we've got our frailty or pain disability index that we can enter. And here we're going to enter a pain disability index. Okay, I've got status set as noted and filed because I am the MD. Um, if you are a staff member, you may find it comes up as pending MD review. If you leave it like this, it will then go into the physician's lab inbox for them to mark as reviewed, just like an electronic lab would. And you may or may not want that in your clinic workflow. So you can decide if you want to use pending MD review or noted and filed. Okay, we want the correct MD there and the investigation date, which defaults to today. So the pain disability index is a scale from 0 to 70, 70 being the worst disability, and today the patient scores 40. So we put that result in, and then we close the button if we're done. But we can also add a second one if we want to by clicking on the plus. And then we're going to choose the frailty score. And this one, there are a couple, well, there's a several different tools available, and you can choose whichever one you want to use as long as you're consistent. I'm using one called the Clinical Frailty Scale, which is a scale of from 1 to 9, where 1 is very fit and 9 is terminally ill. And today our patient scores a four. So again, we've got noted and filed, correct MD, correct date and time. The result, we're going to click on the exit button and we're going to save the changes. So we've entered those two scores in the patient's chart, but how do I see them? Well, there's two ways. First of all, you can control L, which will take you to the investigations window. And you can see here that our pain disability index of 40 and our frailty score of 4 are entered both as a lab result and down here as a manual result. And if this isn't true for you, there's a configuration setting that you can change so you in the work desk, so you may need to uh, explore that a little bit further. But normally, by default, it shows in both places. The other way, besides Control L, is we can hit F7 or Control M to take you to the medical summary and click on the investigation tab and that will also bring you to these screens. So now I want to graph this to see if the patient is getting any better or worse and so there's two ways that I can do that as well. One is just like a regular lab result I can double click here it comes up and then we can see both scores here and I can double click on the one that I wish to graph. And here you can see that our frailty score has stayed the same though this is a short time interval. If we go back and double click on our PDI score, we can see that actually it's increased fairly dramatically from a 55 down to a 40 in the last month. So the uh, treatment that we're using appears to be at least somewhat effective for this patient. The second way that we can go ahead and graph these results is if we're in the patient's chart and we use the right click menu and we say view clinical graphs. We left click on that and then we can see our scores in the drop down and choose them here. So we can choose our PDI score here and see the graph. Um, the axes will fill in given enough time but it's quite slow today. So we can hover and see that it was 55 on that day and that it's now 40. And if we want to look at the frailty score we can then graph that one and see that it stayed the same. So that's how you can enter and use the pain disability index and frailty scores or any other score that you may have set up in your system. And in the next video, I'm going to show you 
how to search and find these scores in practice search. So I hope you'll tune in for that one as well. Thanks for watching.